Hey guys, so I am back from my vacation. I was away, if you didn't know, for about 10 days in the Caribbean. I was on a cruise and it was absolutely amazing. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to film as many videos before I left as I wanted to. So I just wanted to apologize quickly for the lack of videos for the past two weeks. But I'm finally doing a video today and I hope that you guys like it. It is a really easy makeup tutorial and I was fortunate enough to be sent some products by Shani Cosmetics or Shani Cosmetics. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. But today I used all brushes by Shani Cosmetics. I've never used anything from them before so this was kind of like a first impression video and I have to say I am very, very impressed. So basically what I'm using in this tutorial first is their brush kit and this is the Signature Collection brush set. It has 24 pieces. These brushes are hypoallergenic and they're also treated to be antibacterial, which is really great. You don't have to worry too much about it causing any breakouts or anything, but you definitely still want to wash your brushes. And I just wanted to zoom out so that I could show you guys what the actual brush set looks like. And it comes with a brush roll, which is really, really cool because it's awesome for storing them and keeping them clean because it has this little flap thingy at the top. And every single brush that I used in this video, again, is by Shani Cosmetics. And I am very, very impressed with the actual brushes themselves. They pick up product really, really easily. Like, it picks up a a lot of product and I was really surprised by that. The other products from Shani Cosmetics that I'm using in this tutorial are from the Mini Masterpiece Makeup Kit. This is really cool because it has this magnetic flap on the front and inside are these basically little drawers and each of them are palettes so they look like this. And another thing about it is that you do get quite a bit of choices for your blush colors. They have lots of pinks and then some more corally colors and red colors which is really nice because you can really change it up super easily just by using this palette and I'm, I'm really really liking it. Okay so enough of me rambling because I tend to do that a lot. I hope that you guys like this look so if you want to know how to get it then just keep watching. I'm going to start out with concealer and I'm using the combination of these two shades as well as the E20 brush and I'm just going to conceal underneath my eyes and highlight anywhere as well as cover up any blemishes or redness that I might have. And now moving on to foundation, I'm also going to use a combination of those two colors and the F22 brush and this isn't a very big brush but it does work really well for cream products so that's why I chose to use this one and I really like the finish of it. It was very nice and easy to use and then I'm just going to powder my face using this color as well as the F12 brush just to lightly give a little bit of a veil of powder and not make my skin look too cakey or anything. I'm also going to use the lightest shade from that same palette and the E12 brush just to set my under eye concealer. Now I'm taking the matte contour shade from the same palette and the M22 brush just to lightly contour my face and give it a little bit more warmth because I am quite tan on the rest of my body and my face is a little bit more pale so I figured I would just warm it up a bit. And for my blush I'm using the shimmery corally color of course and the F10 brush just to give my cheeks a little bit of a healthy glow. For my eyes, I decided to keep it very simple and I'm using this cream eyeshadow by Essence and it's super long lasting. I'm just applying that with my ring finger all over my lids and making sure that I'm not leaving any too harsh of lines but I will be going in with the color Naked 2 from the Naked Basics palette just to blend it out slightly with the F21 brush. For an inner corner highlight, I'm using Venus from the same Naked Basics palette and the E15 brush just to brighten up the inner corners of my eyes. And then to finish off my eyes, I'm using my favorite mascara, which is the Colossal Volume Express Cat Eyes Mascara by Maybelline. And I'm just putting a few coats onto my top and bottom lashes. I'm also going to take my brow bar to go by Whitening Lightning to fill in my eyebrows using the B13 brush and I'm not doing anything special, I'm literally just filling in any sparse areas of my eyebrows just to make them look a little bit more full. And for my lips, I'm using a butter lipstick, <laughs> I almost said lip gloss, a butter lipstick from NYX. This is one of their new products and this one is in the color 
fun size and I really really love this especially for every day so this is the finished makeup look I really hope you guys like it I'll leave more information about Shani cosmetics in the description box as well as a promo code so that you guys can get a discount so I hope you guys like it don't forget to check out my other videos and I'll see you next time